Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video where we will discuss past year question for the year of 2020-2021. In this video, we will discuss question 6 involving chapter 7 ionic equilibria. Question A, determine the pH of 0.5 molar ethanoic acid CH3COOH solution given that the Ka is 1.8 exponent negative 5. Okay, so um for this a question so they ask for the pH so what's the formula of pH pH is equal to negative log H plus or H3O plus okay so from the equation what we have is CH3 COOH solution so again uh, we do not know the concentration of H plus straight away so how do we find out the concentration so first we have to write down the equation first so CH3 COOH solution so for a given acid or base you have to know when you write down the equation is it a strong or a weak acid okay so how do we know it's a strong or weak it's actually tips here is actually if the question give you the key k means that it is your weak acid uh, so if the question give you KB, uh, KB is your weak base. Again, A needs stand for acid, KB, B needs stand for your base. Okay, so um, this is a weak acid. So we know that when we write down the equation, the arrow must be this way. Lah. Same as our chapter 6, uh, it is reversible. Okay, so we have our CH3COOH. So our acid here is in equals. Lah. It is in equal state. Okay, so how do I know is it... Uh, Equals or is it liquid? Okay, only for H2O. Only for the case of H2O will it be liquid. Okay, other than that, it will be our equals lah. Chapter 7, mostly about our solution. But our acid and base are mostly in equals lah. Okay, so in acid. So if it's acid, so what we have to do is that. Again, this is a weak one. So the arrow must be reversible. Okay, so it will dissociate partially. So it will dissociate. Since acid, it will form H plus. Okay. And then what we have left is CH3COO. But then again, remember that based on the Arrhenius theory, that it will um, dissociate to form H+, right? So here we have H+, so it means that this one, uh, since this is a neutral molecule, so this, me this means that this is H+, here will be CH3COO minus. This is one way to see it. Okay, so again, weak acid, so it means that uh, the arrow must be dissociated partially. Or, okay, if you're confused about this, okay, again, we can uh, still use the same one. Uh, again, about our ethanoic acid, CH3COOH. This time around, I want to react it with H2O, for example. Kan? H2O, the state will be liquid. So again, this goes back to the theory. Uh, so this one, acid, uh, we know acid. So this uh, acid will donate H+. plus. Okay, so it means that our H2O will be our base. Base will accept H+. plus. So, in equilibrium, so we know that uh, CH3COH for the product, since it don't need H+, plus, okay? so again, what is left is CH3COO, but since we don't need the plus, so here we have our minus. Lah. And then, our H2O, uh, now it's a basic except H+, plus, except H+, plus from where? From the acid that donated the H+, plus. so here it will become, instead of H2O, it will become H3O+. Plus. So, we will form this product. So, what is the difference? This both is the equation for dissociation of weak acid. The difference is that, okay, for the first equation here, I don't react it with water. But for the second one, for my weak acid here, I will react it with water. The product is still the same. We will have this one, CH3COO minus. The difference is that our acid, C, um, without the water, it will form H+. If we react it with H2O, it will form H3O+. That's why for our pH, it's either negative log H plus or negative log H3O plus is the same thing. Again, uh, OH minus then it will be a different lah, totally a different one. Kalau H plus, H3O plus is the same. So up to you lah which one you want to write down. Okay, but then here, back to the question, they want to know the negative log H plus. Um, me personally, I like to write down this one lah, kalau react dengan H2O. So it will be easier for you to see what would what will be the product. Because later on, if you use the ice table, liquid ni sama je, tak ada apa-apa pun. Okay. So for this one, negative log H plus or H3O plus. I'm going to use the um the second equation. So the question asks, uh, negative log H2O plus lah. Here. I don't know the concentration here. But what I've known here is only my ethanoic acid here. 0 0.5 molar. Here, I do not know. XX. This one is the value that we have to find. Okay. 
So for example, for a strong um, acid, HCl for example, you form H plus Cl minus. This is a strong acid, it will uh, dissociate fully. So if this is 0 0.1 molar, H plus will be 0 0.1 molar. Calculation quite straightforward. If the weak acid, they dissociate partially. So we do not know what is the value. Ni. If this is 0 0.5, uh, ni tak semestinya 0 0.5 lah. It won't be 0 0.5. So that's why we have to um, find the concentration by using our key. Okay, so how to use it? If you're using our key, or how to find the um, concentration ni, with the key as well. So it means that we have to do, or we have to calculate using our ice table. Okay, so I'm going to do my ice table using uh, the second equation here. Ice table stands for initial change equilibrium. Make sure you include the unit lah. Since here we have concentration, it will be concentration. Okay, so here, uh, what other information that we've known? Uh, we only know about our uh, acid, our ethanoic acid. So here I'm just going to write down, based on the question we have that here is 0.5. Okay, how about the um, change? Okay, the change must refer back to the one or based on the balance equation. So here we will get minus x. Okay, so the equilibrium when we add up both lah, 0 0.5 minus x. Okay, H2O liquid. Okay, liquid is not included in K. Okay, why? K, uh, in this case of K, can only be gas or aqueous. Solid and liquid is not included because the concentration remain constant throughout the reaction lah. So that's why even K, we do not accept uh, solid or liquid. Okay, so how about our product here? Okay, product, there's no information. Uh, so initially, uh, usually for the product, there's no product form lah at the start of the experiment. Okay, and then the change will be positive x. Here will be positive x. Okay, because product, again, uh, product, the concentration will increase. So that's why we have to put plus here. It will be minus. So for the equilibrium, we will be total up initial plus the equilibrium. So it will become x and x. Okay, so right now the question wants us to find the pH, negative log H plus or H2O plus. It's this one. So how do we find this out? Okay, so to find this out, we have to uh, use the uh, formula for the Ka. Okay, formula of Ka. So we have the value. Again, K stands for, Ka stands for equilibrium constant for acid, only for gas or aqueous. For the product over reactant. So this is the formula lah. Depends lah. Depends on the equation. What's the product? What's of the reactant? But make sure it must be gas divided by aqueous. Now we know that Ka is H3O plus multiplied by CH3COO minus uh, divided by CH3COOH. Okay. So K ni means that in, it is in equilibrium. So it means that when we substitute the value here, it must be all the equilibrium lah. The value of Ka here. Uh, from the question 1.8, 1.8 exponent negative 5. So once we substitute the value here, then we can find the value of x. Okay, so you can expand the equation to form your quadratic equation and then you can factorize it down. But the exception here for the chapter 7 for your Ka, Kb or Ksp, if the value k is less than or equal to exponent negative 5, okay, then uh, there are some rules to it lah where the calculation... Uh, will be simpler. Uh. There are some shortcut to it. But remember, must be smaller than or equal to negative 5. A negative 5, uh, at the theorem, if 10 to the power negative 4, we cannot, we cannot use this. Uh, if um, exponent negative 6, uh, we can use this one. If exponent negative 7 pun can. Uh, they, that is what is meant by equal to uh, less than or equal to exponent negative 5. Okay, so what are the rules that if the value... Uh, again, it's smaller than or equal to exponent negative 5. We can assume that the denominator, okay, we can only take the value lah. We can ignore the x. What does it mean? When we're calculating, uh, we will ignore this. Okay, the same goes if the equation is 0 0.5 minus 2x, then we will ignore the 2x. We're only going to take the value. So, it will be quite straightforward lah for the calculation. Then here, we can use that the denominator. We can only take the 0 0.5. Then we can uh, be straightforward. This one will multiply. Then it will become equal to x square. Then we can find out that the x will be equal to 3 exponent negative 3 molar. Okay. So that is only for the value of x.
Okay, why do we have to find the value of x? pH is equal to negative log H plus or H3O plus. Okay, so then we know that uh, since x is 3 exponent negative 3, so it means that H3O plus point is actually 3 exponent negative 3. Okay, uh, since here we can see that uh, it is x. If for example, H3O plus, for example here 2x, uh, then the concentration here must multiply by 2 lah. But since they are, they are the same, so it's the same value. So once we have find the value of H3O plus, then we can substitute it straight away to find the pH. Then you will get the pH to be 2.53. Okay, so um again, based on the question, question give you the pH. And uh, when it gives you the weak acid, then you have to do the ice table. Lah. So how do we know that it is weak acid or weak base? Usually the, the given hint is actually if the question give you K A or K B for base. Okay, so if they uh, if they give you the weak acid or weak base, then you have to do your ice table. If a strong acid, strong base, uh, how do I know is it strong acid ke? Strong base too, uh, if Ka is not given. Ni, the given so that is your weak acid. So if you uh, calculate the pH, you can't do it straight away by using stoichiometry. You have to do the ice table. Okay, so how do I find the value here? Uh, for the concentration in equilibrium uh, based on the given Ka. Okay, so that is for question A. So for question B here, I'm not going to discuss in this video. I have discussed the question B actually uh, in uh, another video for 7.2 acid base saturation where in this video I've discussed all the uh, question, passive question involving titration. Lah. Okay, so again I have discussed all where I've done the calculation step and the explanation. Uh, so the link for the video will be included in the description. So again, please refer back to the description if you want to see uh, how to answer the question or you want to know how to explain it uh, or how to get the um, answer itself lah. that is all uh, the video for the PSPM 2020-2021